kindly rise. Please join in singing the national anthem. Take your seats. I request the Vice Chancellor to deliver his speech. At the outset, I extend an august felicitous welcome to the Honorable President of India, Srimadi Draupadi Murmuji, the Honorable Governor of Goa State and Chancellor of Goa University, Sri P. S. Sridharan Bilaji, the Honorable Chief Minister of Goa, Dr. Pramod Savanji, Honorable Ministers, Members of Parliament, Members of Legislative Assembly, and other elected representatives, distinguished authorities, civilians and military of the Union of State, esteemed members of the Executive Council, Registrar of Goa University, deans of the various schools and faculties, principals and faculties of various education institutions, students, media personnel, ladies and gentlemen. A hearty greetings on the occasion of the 34th Convocation of Goa University. It gives me immense pleasure to recall that the university has been able to covet 
the exalted presence of distinguished luminaries, adorning high constitutional offices as chief guests at the previous convocations in the form of former president and PM. Madam President, given your unflinching dedication to the nation in all your distinguished capacities in public office, your utmost commitment to all sections of Indian society, but particularly the weaker and hitherto marginalized sections of our citizenry, through an inspirational public life of service and your irreproachable integrity, humility, and selflessness are exalted faces to be emulated. And we could not be more honored and delighted that this annual seminal event of our varsity is unfolding in your eminent presence. Goa University's uniqueness is founded in its innately multidisciplinary realms of teaching and research, its intimate connect to the local A, as also its coveting international visibility and traction, the latter attribute of which is made possible by the intrinsically cosmopolitan character of the state of Goa that gravitates students to undertake academic instruction and erudition in our beautiful state. No wonder then that at the QS Southern Asia University ranking of 2023, we are pitched at 145. Amongst Asian universities, we figure between 551 and 600, while in NIRF, we are between 101 to 150. Last year, from these very portals, I had humbly promised to proactively implement the national education policy, NEP 2020, in earnest. And with a gladdening heart, I take this opportunity to report that our university has followed through on this assurance by becoming one of a handful of universities around the country to implement the various dimensions enjoined in NEP 2020 for the benefit of our stakeholders. The university, as the premier higher education institution, is ever conscious of our hallowed responsibility in shaping and steering the critical building block of education, in fructifying the Alma Nirbha vision of the Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji as we consummate the Amrit Kal leading into our sentinel year of independence in 2047. In a similar vein, as a singular university of the state, we are sentient of our prided obligation in realizing the vision of Swayamburna Goa. Consonant with this, the university premise on its stellar track record of research and erudition has pioneered the concept of research park towards fostering innovation temper and leveraging entrepreneurial instincts showcased through path-breaking advents. I am delighted to announce that our university has been selected for financial assistance to the tune of rupees 10 crore under DST's PER scheme. The DST PER scheme recognizes institutions that have consistently demonstrated a strong foundation in research and have exhibited exceptional potential for further advancement. The grant will help university to further augment existing high-end research facilities. These facilities will not only help the government students to complete their PG and PhD, but also encourage to incubate their ideas to start up. As many as 9,290 students are receiving their graduate degrees, 1,859 students their postgraduate degrees, and 116 students their diplomas, with the 61 research scholars being festooned with the doctoral degrees. I richly congratulate all of you receiving your respective convocation degrees on this day. My heartiest compliments to those proud recipients of gold medals, prizes, and scholarships today in glowing recognition of your merit. Towards this, the university, under the guidance of the Honorable Chancellor and with the unstinting support and good counsel of the state government, would, during the ensuing epoch, be driven by five key parameters, that is, radical internal restructuring, scaling up the number of students and faculty, augmenting core strength in various disciplines, adding new branches of learning, and leveraging the locational attributes of the state. Thank you all for your kind attention. Jai Hind, Jai Goa, Debare Karum. The Honorable Governor of Goa and Chancellor, Goa University, will now present a plaque to Chief Guest, Honorable President of India.
The Vice Chancellor will now present a memento to Dr. Pramod Savant, Honorable Chief Minister of Goa. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to request you to declare the 34th Convocation of Goa University open. This 34th Convocation of Goa University has been called to confer degrees, diplomas, upon the candidates who in the examination held for the purpose have been successful and certified to be worthy of receiving the degrees bar diplomas. Let the candidates be presented. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I on behalf of the deans of School of Biological Sciences and Biotechnology, School of Earth, Ocean and Atmospheric Sciences, Manohar Parikar School of Law, Governance and Public Policy, Shanai Goembab School of Language and Literature, School of Chemical Sciences, Goa Business School, DD Kosambi School of Social Sciences and Behavioral Studies, School of International and Area Studies, School of Sanskrit Philosophy and Indic Studies, School of Physical and Applied Sciences, Faculty of Medicine, Faculty of Pharmacy, Faculty of Engineering, Faculty of Planning, Architecture and Design, and Faculty of Performing, Fine Art and Music, present to you the candidates whose names are set out in the list for the degrees and diplomas of PhD, MD, MS, ME, MA, MSc, MCOM, MCA, MBA, MBAFS, MSc IT, MDS, Medical Diplomas, MPharm, MSc Hydrography, MCTM, MSW, MBA, BE, BA, BA Honours, BSc, BSc Honours, B.Sc. Honours, Home Science, B.Com, B.C.A., B.B.A., B.B.A. Shipping, B.B.A. Travel and Tourism, B.B.A. Hospitality and Culinary Management, B.D.S., M.B.B.S., B.Farm, B.A.M.S., B.H.M.S., L.L.B., Honours, L.L.B. Degree, B.A. L.L.B., L.L.M., B.Ed., B.P.E.D., B.A. B.Ed., B.Sc. B.Ed., B.Arc., B.F.A., B.S.W., B.Sc. I.H.M., B.Sc. Agriculture, BLIC, MLIC, BSc Nursing, BSc Home Science, BSc in Allied Health Science, Bachelor of Occupational Therapy, AHS, Bachelor of Science in Anesthesia Technology, Bachelor of Science in Medical Imaging Technology in Radio Diagnosis, Bachelor of Optometry, Bachelor of Physiotherapy, AHS, BPA, BWOC, Diploma in Pre-Primary Teachers Education, Postgraduate Diploma in Clinical Genetics, Medical Laboratory Techniques, Postgraduate Diploma in Computer Application, Postgraduate Diploma in Event Management, Postgraduate Diploma in Guidance and Counseling, Postgraduate Diploma in Geoinformatics, Diploma in Psychiatric or Mental Health Nursing under various schools and faculties of this university. They have been examined and found qualified for the respective degrees and diplomas to which I pray they may be admitted. By virtue of the authority vested in me as a Chancellor of Goa University, I admit all the candidates presented to the degrees and diplomas under various faculties and schools of this university and in token thereof they have been conferred with the degrees and diplomas. By virtue of the authority vested in me as a chancellor of Goa University, I admit all the candidates presented to the degree and diplomas of, of course, various categories detailed out by our vice chancellor. I'm not repeating it. I am accepting it. And I do hereby
Kerala is under various faculties and schools of this university, and in token thereof, they have been conferred with the degrees and diplomas. The Honorable President of India will now present medals and prizes to 20 candidates who have earned the respective awards by obtaining the highest marks in the concerned subjects under the schools or faculties of the university. Abhishek Bharadwaj, Goa Medical College and Hospital, Bambolim. Almeida Anusha Dechura, VM Salgamgar College of Law, Miramar. <laughs> Kandolka Shia Govind, Sri Kamakshi Devi Homeopathy Medical College. Chavan Priyanka Baban, Government College of Arts, Science and Commerce. <laughs> Desai Shaunak Gajananan, Goa Medical College. Desai Janavi Marudi, Goa College of Engineering. <laughs> Fernandez Salo Mario, Goa Business School. Hegde Rajat Ashok, Government College of Arts and Science Commerce. <laughs> Khan Mohammed Imtiaz, Goa Business School. Linisa Linite Linsen, Goa Business School. <laughs> Merava Sambada Parsharam, GVM's College of Commerce and Economics. Nayak Mekhna Vaman, BSPS Gomandak Ayurveda Mahavidyalaya Research Center, Shiroda. <laughs> <laughs> 